Yes, it's a, it's a moot, no? Yes. Right? It's a sordino. A it's sordine. Sordine. You put it on the bridge. Put it on the bridge. And it blocks actually the movement of the bridge. Yes. In order that it doesn't sound too loud. So yes. now if you want to play at home and your neighbor is knocking already and screaming, yes. Basta! Basta! <laughs> basta! Basta! Ah, basta! <laughs> ah, voglio dormire! <laughs> I want to sleep! Yeah, then, then you put this on and then it's like like putting something like this on your lip or on your tongue. You wouldn't be able to talk anymore. This is the heavier it is. This one is pretty heavy. The less you hear your cello. So the question is, and this was a actually a question that was brought up by a viewer in Toulouse, of all places, of my own town. Um, do, have you ever heard? Has any luthier here in Cremona ever heard of a mute? an Artino mute or any mute damaging the instrument, particularly the, the bass bar. No. By, by virtue of the fact that because it vibrates less and it doesn't vibrate enough, the bass bar inside falls off. Oh my God, it's like a disaster scenario, huh? No, it's impossible. So, so just want to make it super clear. Some people think that these are dangerous for your instrument. Dangerous. Even. These are dangerous. These, these. Uh, what is your consent? Because I know that when you apply well, to I, the, the cello, let me finish. I'm sorry. <laughs> I know that when you apply these to the instrument, you need to like be careful with yes. it. Pinch it like this. Don't like push it down. Yet, from your professional perspective, mutes uh, like this is a half metal, half rubber. Yeah. What is your consensus? What is your opinion? I saw these ones also made out of wood, and look also nice. But the bridge is made out of wood, and if you would have an idea how much I'm thinking about how to make a bridge, how the bridge up there, 2.4 millimeters, and a certain edge, and how the string has to lie on the bridge and everything, and then I see people scratching this on, and, 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 and the bridge is just damaged by how this is pushed on. It really hurts me, and even here, it's, I see it a little bit sharp here, even so it's rubber. Um, I know I put I, this I on don't your really, I don't really love it to put it on, but if you are quite a little bit delicate and you put it on, no problem. It's just that if you do put it every day on, Certainly, then the bridge gets some signs. In this case, some black rubber signs. Yes, yeah, so but right? besides cosmetic, it's, it would have caused significant damage to the inside of the cello, to the, you know, you, the bass the, bar, to if, the if sound you, If you are mechanics and you have black hair, uh, black hands because of the oil you're working of on oily, greasy thing, doesn't make you now a nasty person, right? Okay. A little bit the same thing. So it'll be just cosmetic, really. Yes. Okay. Uh, that's really that's mm. really the question because that was just, an issue. These are safe. They're great. But like I said on the channel, and like Edgar's saying, the practice mute is intended for only, only occasional use, not all the time. Be aware of that. Just put it on if you have to do it late at night. Otherwise, it's much better to allow the instrument to sing to really do what it needs to do. 